how's everyone doing there tonight this is undead nightmare 24 back with a video hope everyone's doing well and staying safe out there this is going to be a review for my uh, saturday action and exploitation films that i pick every saturday uh let's get into this the choice for this saturday is going to be 1977's death promise this is like a kung fu kind of action grindhouse type of film it's filmed in 1977. It is directed by Robert Warmflash. Uh, I couldn't find too much on him. I know he worked on a movie called Caged Women in 1996. Uh, it stars Charles Bonnet. He's famously known for starring in Don't Go in the House. Another uh, 70s horror film that's pretty awesome. Um, that's pretty much our cast here, our main cast. So um, let's get into the plot of this film. This is basically about Charles Bonnet starring as Charlie. He's a martial arts expert who lives in a pretty uh, crappy apartment complex. The landlords seem to not care much about him. He, uh, he has pretty much to get him without electricity, water, anything. They're living him in these pretty poor uh, circumstances. And then he has his father who lives in there also, who's uh, named Lewis. And he's a former boxer. So, uh, yeah, pretty much starts that way. And uh, they pretty much are mad at these rich landlords who are taking advantage of them and pretty much uh sending goons over to to de put destroy the apartment complex so they could evict everyone and pretty much tear down the apartment complex and build some commercial properties on there and make millions of money but these guys refuse to give up and leave their only homes they have uh, he also has a best friend named speedy who uh is a pretty excellent martial artist as well and they're tr trained by this guy, Master Chibata, who trained them. So they're pretty much uh, fighting off these goons and trying to, you know, protect their apartment complex, which they wish they refuse to leave and want better uh, living, living ways for them, you know. And these landlords have a bunch of goons that go out there and uh, pretty much mess with them, try to get them out of there. But at the same time, these guys are fighting them off with... Fighting them off with their martial arts expertise, man. Uh, yeah, so... Yeah, what, this film's a pretty fun one, man. It takes that action, kung fu type film. It's very cheesy. It made me laugh throughout the film. Uh, there's a scene in this one where... Uh, he pretty much... His friend Speedy wants to get revenge on one of the landlords because he gave drugs to his younger brother and killed him. So it, it's, a, it's a pretty vicious kill. Let's get into that one real quick. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was a pretty uh, excellent kill there in the film. I really enjoyed that scene. And also, uh, later on, they, they're they attacking an apartment complex, trying to get to the main leader of these these goons and uh, wealthy landlords. They fight, fight their way to the top and pretty much get to the ma main uh, the main bad guys there, the top guys that know Kung Fu. And they're fighting them off in this office, which is pretty hilarious. There's some pretty cheesy... Uh, uh action kung fu fights and some funny uh, funny sounds man i was pretty much laughing through this scene let's get into that one as well so i could show you guys that
Uh, so what do you guys think of that? This Those scenes had me laughing and rolling, man. Very cheesy and <laughs> B-movie bad, but I... I was I was laughing and rolling during those pretty intense scenes. So they actually that's their whole plot through this movie is to fight their way to the top, take these landlords out one by one. Um and also there's a reason that uh Charlie is fighting because his uh his dad was spoiler alert, his dad was pretty much murdered and uh he wants revenge, he wants to get it back to the killer who took out his dad and who is this killer? That is the twist of this film. Which leads him on his revenge quest, uh, going through each one of these wealthy landlords to seek vengeance and revenge. Has a pretty good uh, action and revenge story, with some cheesiness, and pretty good uh, awesome fight scenes. Like I said, uh, overall I did enjoy this film. It's it's a lot of fun. Che Is this a good film? No, it's not. It's a bad film by any means, but is it entertaining? Heck yes, man. Hell yeah, this film is entertaining. I had a lot of fun with it. Definitely had that 70s grindhouse feel. And I like me some martial arts movies. So uh, overall, I am going to give this film about a 3.5 out of 5. Uh, it has an excellent catchy song in this film as well, which I enjoyed. Uh, definitely 70s, like I said, grindhouse exploitation type of feel to this one. Uh, would I recommend this film? Yes, I would. I would recommend this film if you haven't seen it. And that's if you're into these type of movies, which are those bad B-movie type of uh, kung fu films, which I find entertaining. I'm a fan of. So, yeah, this is 1977's Death Promise. Uh, I had a blast watching this film. That's going to be my Saturday action and exploitation review. I uh, hope everyone's doing well out there again. Stay safe. Please uh, hit a like and subscribe. Comment as well. And this is Undead Nightmare 24 back with a video. Peace. Landlords are forcing helpless tenants out of their homes, and they'll use any means to throw them out in the street. They are big time business, modern day criminals. Oh, shit! E. Bartley Alden, Wall Street Blue Blood, banker, financier, landlord. We must empty these buildings immediately of the deal with Wolf Brewer. We stand to lose millions of dollars. Emmanuel Jackson, climbed to the top the hard way, chairman of a loan and finance company, landlord. Get him. Ain't that what I told you? I told you all this shit with lawyers were wasting our time. Abraham Mursky, young, wealthy, ladies' man, clothing manufacturer, landlord. So don't give him an ordinary payoff. Give him an extraordinary payoff, but let's get it done for Clarence W. Engstrom, old line money, power and prestige, landlord. You just can't come out and tell a judge of the state supreme court that you had somebody murdered. Claudio Salvano, labor union president, construction company owner, landlord. Rats, rats. Turn off the electricity. Get off the water. What is this, the amateur hour? People live in those buildings. People. And as crummy as those dumps are, they're people's homes. And don't forget it, mister. They're not leaving, and I'm not leaving. So you can take this here polite bribe, and you can shove it up your polite ass. Death promise.